pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mary, would you call the roll? Mitch Dennis. Roland Carroll. Mitch. Mitch Dennis. Are you there, Mitch? I think it's all three people. Oh, that's the CJ's here. Mr. CJ's here? Mr. CJ's here. Oh, good. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good to see you. Two chairs available right here. Yeah, right in front. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You hear the spectator? If you keep us straight, it's not happening. Clarence Morris is here. Mitch, Mitch Tannels. Nope. Roland Curell. Here. Roland Gidry. Here. Bob Falk. Bob Falk. Here. Nick Neely Rowe. Here. Keith Hidden. Here. Monty Vegas. Here. Mr. Preston, we have four. Okay, you've been furnished with a couple. Mitch is here. Mitch is here too. Okay. Good. Mitch is here, good. Uh, you've been furnished with a couple of minutes of the regular meeting of June the 8th. Uh, any additions or deletions or corrections of news as presented to you? Move by Bob, second by Mac. Any discussion? All the same thing you about saying aye. 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 All aye. aye. Okay, uh, I have no report to make as such. Uh, all his, all his uh, comments, Joe, are newly elected representative of District 4, 54. Joe, you care to address us? Yes, sir. Thank you all very much for uh, for allowing me to come into your meeting. It was supposed to be a continued runoff and uh, political campaign uh, speech, but uh, fortunately the good folks of 54 supported me enough, and here I am representing, and uh, I just wanted to know that my door is always open. Things on the infrastructure uh, are very important. Uh, of course, uh, the completion of the elevated highway into Golden Meadow, and uh, that's only uh, important as we keep uh, the 10th Ward and South of Fouche Drive, uh, keeping the, uh, the path to our energy corridor down in Fouche open so we understand how important that is. And I'm a, as a representative, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that y'all get all the, the needs that y'all, all the, the things that y'all need to do y'all job. So with that, I say thank y'all very much for the support and trusting me to be y'all representative. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Question. Personal congratulations. Yes, you got Wendell's list yet? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, I know we're talking about Wendell's list. I have Wendell's list. 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 Yeah, uh, we'll do a slide presentation about some of the issues going on. We've got a lot of good stuff going on. Though. We're getting close to our well, we didn't hardly a season, but August 15th is when we start really seeing the start. And we're still aiming to get some projects finished, but uh, we're making good, good, uh, good progress with it. But one of the issues we have, uh, you know, maintenance is uh, we don't even build anything unless we maintain it. And right now, at our the, the original floodgate, told them that the Ontario floodgate, not the one, but the floodgate part of it, before we made it to lot, you know, we uh, we've done maintenance work on the uh, on the, the gates themselves, the second gates. Uh, well, we having trouble. We started maybe say, about six months ago. It was, we started to grease uh, the gate, and we had a lot of trouble getting the grease down. We tried to get our engineers and some of the construction people who built the gate. To figure out what's going with the greasing because that's critical. We, we uh, uh, especially where the pivot point is where the gate pivots on the on the uh, structure itself, and we have not been able to solve that problem. Well, they tried it ten years when we do normal maintenance anyway. So rather than wait longer to do that, uh, we want to ask the board and uh, 
In fact, we can, we can take it now if you want. I'd like to go ahead and get permission to uh, uh, advertise and actually uh, do the maintenance job on the gate. Uh, what I'd like to do is get the timing. I'd like to get it okay right now so that we can take it out in the middle of winter time where there's less chance of having title issues. Okay, so we start now, we have a long time for our engineers to develop it. In the past, the cost has been between 300000 and 500000 to do it. Now, the last time we took it out, it was cost about 800000 because we added another five feet. And this is the gate that, uh, on the board as it was leaving. That was, at, uh, that was it, that's when we found the board, it's right in between, we just picked it up. In fact, I think we got about 12 sacks of oysters off of the gate, we did that. <laughs> We have the board. Yeah, we have the board. Now, uh, our employees <laughs> enjoy the board. Okay. Uh, and uh, here's the new gate coming in, and you can see we, we added we added this point. This is all five feet extra on top. And when we did the black black sheet pile that we did recently, we finally got the whole thing up to six feet. Deep. And uh, that's how it sits today. Now, you notice we hadn't raised. You see, this was the elevation about eleven five. And now this is 16, and now when you go, you're going to see the black uh, apron sheet pile that we have now tied to it. And then, uh, of course, uh, the uh, that's worked out uh, real well having the gate placed on it on the uh, on the roadway on LA one coming in, and also straightening out the road. It's a lot safer than it was uh, before we did this project. And we did our test uh, about, about three weeks ago, uh, Drake. Yeah, about three weeks. And. Uh, the, the hard, the, the only thing, and it's just too convenient, we take the railings out and we can basically get the gate in place probably, what, uh, 15 minutes? Yeah, less than that. Yeah. And uh, that's a lot better than having high school basketball, having the, the, the plan hours ahead and have half a day ahead, and now we can do it in minutes. So uh, this will work out really well. And they were closing the gate. And uh, now this is a 32, 35 in the rules. Uh, this is the ramp going out of the system. Uh, we have this stop wall system. And what, just about 45 minutes to put it in place? Yeah, 45 minutes. And now the levee, the bottom of the levee is, is uh, about 14 foot elevation. And so this raises it up to 13. And uh, you know that's on the northern part of the system. And we, we have extra time to, to deal with it. But it will stop that one lane of traffic, that one side of the road. The other side of the road will still be passable uh, if the tide had not gotten that high. But uh, uh, we tested it and uh, it worked out well. It again, took us about 45 minutes to get it in place. We are hoping to eventually raise actually LA24 so the slope will be reduced so we don't have to do this and we can make a ramp out of this like the other uh, set of 3235. How it's uh, now that regular slope, so it's something we want to get done. But for right now, we, we uh, have this uh, stop law situation to get the elevation up. Uh, typical levy, we've got a well, well ramp to set the place where we're building levees. So this is in the rules, and it's right at a 12 foot, up, 12 foot elevation. Uh, this is a little incident took place. We have cut trees along the levee, and we would try it, we would burn them, and we left a little early, and uh, the levee kind of took off. Now, you know, if we had more confidence in it, it'd be a good way to maintain the level without having to put a tractor on it, but uh, that's not a good way to do it. It's hard to control it. So we ended up uh, calling the, the fire department with their small truck and came in and, and took care of it. We were building some trees and, and our guys left a little bit too early and it took all, but it was taken care of pretty easily. We are just talking about the maintenance on the level. That's why we cut the grass around the pump stations a lot lower, so if there would be a fire, it could not get to our pump station. Now, this is if you go into the bone watch at face off and you look north, this is what's going on. Uh, we've got this project and raising the levee. It's right about uh, 14 and a half feet, and we're raising it to 18 feet. Uh, that's because we have a lot of open water. Uh, look if, on, the, on, the, uh, phone. on the phone, if y'all can mute your, uh, your phone until you want to talk. Okay. Uh, but we're making progress with this, and uh, uh, the western side of our system has a lot more open water than the east side. 
also the Barrier Islands between the Mississippi River Ridge and Bayou Rouge are, are a lot more consistent uh, and a lot less open water. So we're really spending a lot of time on the western side to take care of a possible high surges coming in. Uh, this is this is our uh, water lilies that were kind of around uh, one of our pump stations. Because our mud bowl had a problem, we haven't been able to spray as often as well as we used to. So it's a pile of stuff, but we stay ahead of it, to make sure it doesn't block our ability to put our pump stations on when we need them. Uh, again, this is the work now that we are doing, our, our uh, employees, doing the area. Uh, this is south of Holy Camp, and we're raising that levy up, the material that we stacked on the side. Now we're bringing it to the top. And our guys are doing a great job. Uh, the weather looks real good. Here's Bully Camp. That's pump station number two. That's a Bully Camp launch looking north. And I just want to make sure everybody understands these are all that open water on the outside, on the west side. That's at a plus one. The water in the bar canal is at minus seven. There's an eight foot differential just about every day. And that, that, that water, you would go, and that's now it's Bully Camp looking south. See all the open water that we have in the Gulf of Mexico here. That that plus one foot elevation of water, this is minus seven. That would go over the four lane highway if we didn't have the levee system. Everything is dependent on, on keeping things dry. And just the very regional by the push is really above that plus one right now. And again, this is a behind our office. We decided to make a connection as a contractor was leaving. Uh, so we have we're going to be able to drive to the levee from the back of our property now. That's, uh, it's almost full, and we'll start shaping it pretty soon. We don't, uh, and one of the reasons we put it besides just the access, we have a big canal now, very wide, can move a lot of water. If we get a storm and a consistent north wind, we can actually stack up water in the Golden Meadow area, where our system ends and gets the Golden Meadow system. And you stack up water in the Golden Meadow, the houses are right there. So this is going to help to slow down any flow of water going toward uh, Golden Meadow. And even though you keep a minus seven, uh, I think it was Hurricane Cindy, inside by LaFouche, now we can't control that. But when that, that north wind just stayed there like for six hours, the water in the body is stacked up in Golden Meadow enough to go over the wall for a little bit. And so that's one of the reasons why we, do, we, we did this, and there's another area that we're leaving some dirt across again to slow down the water and get it to Golden Meadow. No culverts? We are going to put culverts eventually. Right now we let it all settle, silent, and then we'll come in and put the same size culverts that we have at Bullet Camp. Uh, I, I forget exactly, it's, it's bringing in some 48s, but there are two of them, and basically about three, three pumps can handle about water going through. But that way we'll balance on each side of regular rain, and it will help whenever there's a storm that might do that. Uh, unique situation, but we're trying to think about everything as we, we plan it. Uh, this part over here is really good because we had still some of that dirt area stuff, so that, that's solid stuff. And it's just this hole right here, he, was, uh, he stacked as well as he could, but it keeps, keeps slipping out, so we stopped doing that, and he stacked some more, watch, you'll see this, along the side. You see, he stacked more material here, so once this settles out a little bit more, we'll, we'll start moving some of this on here. But it's super solid from here to here. What's the differential? You see the difference in this? Yeah, here it was about a, it looked like about a foot and a half difference from one side to the other. Like I said, we're going to put, and we'll put the toilet probably close to the land area here so we can, if there's an issue, we can uh, work with them on solid, more solid ground. Because it really doesn't matter where you put those, uh, those culverts. Okay, there, you, there you see the uh, contractor. And again, this is the work our guys have been doing. This is between uh, or south of the Bully Camp pump station. That's our, our two bulldozers and our two excavators. Our guys have been doing a great job. Great looking levee uh, and bringing it all the way up to 18 feet. Again, just taking the stuff that the big contractor threw the dirt from the, the, uh, the land side, the, the people side, and put it to the levee side, and now we're taking that and transferring it over and to the top of the levee. That's a good shot of the dirt was placed here. We, we're taking it from here, stacking it. Then we, we move it again to the levee, and I'll pull all the scum and shape it into the water. That's the area 
his statement from the spawns at the base over here that he's bringing up here, and then the bulls will look up and finish it up the work. And this is the, the marsh project on the outside that was mostly broken marsh and a lot of open water. We did that project in 2010, and that marsh had just kept improving and improving. And you know, I hadn't seen a muskrat along the levee at all. And you know, since this is 1980. We did this project, and it's enough of a platform that I actually saw a couple of muskrat miles up here. No, no, no neutral, eh? Oh, you all the, we got this, we got more than a family between us and the bar canal right now. <laughs> no problem. But uh, now this is a, a project, it's hard to tell the differentiation this is mostly with broken water. I mean broken marsh, but uh, this is where Ducks Unlimited, Conical Phillips, uh, we had the CPRA, the parish, all put some environmental money together and, and had that they, they actually took the they, they took the slurry from uh, uh, Catfish Lake and pumped it in here and this project turned out real well. We were supposed to have a big uh, celebration in March uh, with the project, but uh, that didn't happen because of COVID. But you can see, they didn't even place any material here, but just the overflow came here from set, sort of get grass to fill in here. And look, anything on the side of the lid is better than open water. Uh, this stuff is not going to stop storm surge, but the everyday wave action that we rolled the lid, we're not going to have it on top of this in place. And you can see this with the containment, and you see the grass is starting to take right here, but in another year, most of this will be filled in. Again, it's all the same, the same uh, forest platform that they built all through this area. Now, this is a, again the old one we did in 2010. And this one, we just put the pipe right here. We didn't shape nothing, we didn't design anything, no containment, we didn't plant a plant. And, and we placed the pipe here, and just the natural tides just, uh, I didn't think it was going to pass this sun house. This sun house was open this wide all the way to the left. And just place it in here, and nature just took it across and filled it across, filled it in here, and improved the wash in the whole area. And we, we did that for about twelve thousand dollars an acre, where a lot of times they're spending forty to a hundred thousand dollars an acre to redo marsh. So uh, again, it was a, a teamwork for all the people I talked about, Conical Phillips, uh, Williams helped out. Now this is the work in East South. It's one of these little areas, and we got the levee up to sixteen feet. But there's a few gaps that are, are only at about 14 or 15, and this is near the form by Schwest. And here's the dirt piled up here to the level we were going to get it, and this is the ramp to go to Schwest's boat. We're going to be raising that to this level. And that, that's it right here. And you can see this is this is the, the, the high now where we're getting into this, and we need to get this all the way across to pump station number four. And this is the canal, this is the uh, Conical Phillips uh, donated this property to us to do this work. And they've been very cooperative in getting that done. Here's a contractor, he actually blocks the drainage canal, pumps out the water to get the dirt out uh, a little bit drier, but whenever there's a need to pump, it, it gets flooded and the water comes to the pumps and we handle the, the, the water. Uh, now this is where he's placing the material. This is all levy, right now it's a all uh, 15 feet, and again, we're bringing it uh, to uh, 17. Here's pump station number four, Yankee Canal right here, and here's our levee going across right over here. Here you see he's brought the material in, and he's bringing it from the canal. This is the Swiss form. This used to be a crawfish pond, and we're looking west right now. Okay, now looking back east, that's the western boat, that's the pump station there. So again, he's trucking the stuff in here, he's uh, the bulldozer's kind of pushed it up over here at this point. Now this is the bar canal that again, Conical Phillips has donated the property. Uh, we're looking south, and of course uh, uh, east over here, and that's the road on the, on the, on the farm side. And he's digging over here and transferring, and there's a, a blockage over here where he crosses it with his trucks. Uh, Conical Phillips, so uh, contractor didn't have enough room to stack stuff if it wasn't dry already. Uh, we requested uh, to widen out the uh, right of way for another 30, 40 feet, and Conical Phillips went ahead and said, go ahead and start doing it. 
In fact, on the agenda, we're going to deal with uh, finishing the agreement that they give us that extra part to keep the work in. They've been very, very cooperative. That's uh, getting this project done. And here you're looking. Uh, this is looking north. And again, this is the work is digging into the, uh, the canal. And uh, this is the work on Colby Pond. Uh, our flood insurance is based on this levy being up to 13. It's only down to 11, so we bring it back up to 14 and a half. And so we have this work going on. Uh, and again, we have cooperation with Clovely. We had to negotiate a deal to be able to take dirt without having to buy it from them. And, and they did that. Here's Superior Canal. Okay, and here's the levy. We're looking east right now. Now, this is the, the canal that we're digging out of. That, uh, the, the inside part of the Colby Canal, uh, the Colby levee system between the Baya and the, the system, that's our little levee that basically they don't need anymore since they're in the system. But that's where they're digging from. Now, we're looking northwest. This is heading south, and that's along the, the Bayou Lures Ridge. And this leads all the way to the back of South Ouch. This is the form levy heading due east. Okay, so we got one track, one contractor lifting this up to about the uh, uh, we had 14 and a half. This is going to about 14 and a half. Two different contractors. We were able to get material out of the canal here. There's still some material left over here. This levy was built by material on the outside of the levy system, and we would be exhausted just about everything. So we had to find a new material that's why we dig it out of the canal over here. Now, now we're looking almost due south over here and, and east, and you can see for a hurricane, I think it was Ike. When I was watching the, the Rama City's, the, 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 uh, the, what do you call it, debris line. Uh, the debris line was about three feet higher here because of the refractive wave energy coming here and raising the lift. Now we asked at the beginning, before they built this, we asked the Corps, this is this is where Bayou's community is, we asked the Corps to let them here to the Superior Dock. And we could have cut this out, then we have some obtuse, instead of an acute angle here, we would have had obtuse angles over here, having less of a buildup. We would have saved a, a lot of length of levy, but the Corps again, because of this so-called wetland, uh, they didn't allow us to do what was most efficient. Do it two up two to let us make it up two. Well, you know, this is one of those conditions where, you know, it's, it's one of those rare occasions where up two is to be clearer, you know, and to be more succinct. Now, here we're looking back toward by Lafouche, that's that intersection. We're going to raise everything to about 14 and a half, but we're going to come back at the end of the job and bring, raise this up at least another four feet, getting probably to 17 to 18 feet. Again, another view of that same angle. This can head to south. And uh, talk about our work for Morganza. This is the mitigation work for Morganza. And uh, this is uh, worked out real well. This was broken marsh, and it was getting more and more open water. Now, this all, you know, this right the connection between us and Morganza, but it's going to help protect our levee over here. And this is outside the system. We can have as much marsh growing up here as what's inside the containment. But it, it kept leaking through here, and it kind of worked out all right because they had enough material to fill all this in. And the part that leaked out uh, was no more than the back that it was supposed to take anyway, so we ended up with some free marsh over here. And you're not getting a little bit closer. That's the uh, uh, Paul Dufresne levy over here that, that, uh, that's the Alana and Morganza. And that's. That's it over here also, and again, it's all filled in real well. Should have grasped it pretty well. And uh, Neil uh, uses drone. Now, we're over our levee. This is the intersection between the Morganza levee and our levee. It's right here. This is that, that marsh I was telling you that they made, uh, that they pumped in the dirt. And that's the little levee that they made uh, for, uh, and, and basically just Many, uh, they just made bigger the, the levee and uh, bargain out there before. And so that's up to uh, about a 10 foot elevation, uh, 8 foot elevation right here. And then you go on to the end of the form. Here's all the different pump station. And the levee continues to this corner. And then, now this is the end right here, looking due west. 
The levee touched the due north right here, but, but the alignment is going to go across this marsh here, the Grand Bayou. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I did that there. And basically, it goes to Grand Bayou where we just laid that contract to build the floodgate. So, when that's connected right there, you're going to have the land connection between Pornoshan and all the way to the Lafouche Ridge. So, that's going to help protect everybody, North Lafouche, and uh, the, the planking, plank, planking flooding that could have happened for terrible. So, uh, that's what they've done. Any questions? You know, the second gate of uh, Bruce problems, it's on both sides of the southern wall? Uh, I think it's just on one side, huh? It's just on the, the, the west gate, right? Yeah, both of them. Yeah, that's really disappointing, too, to, to have that, because uh, you know, the gate's in pretty good shape. We'll probably go on another year or two before we uh, move forward with it, but uh, it, uh, I don't want to take a chance of they start working. We can't afford that. We can't afford any damage, so we're going to move forward. And, and just restructure a little bit. I was just disappointed not to be able to figure out what was called in the Greece. Not that, you now we're getting it through, but we got to force it, and that, that's not a good situation. Any other questions? All right. Well, well the, uh, let's see, we, uh, first point on uh, the B, the uh, village approval. Okay, that's where the roll back and roll forward. Uh, we don't know exactly when the, uh, the assessor is going to be finished with, with the assessment. And so, but we do have a time limit that we have to pass our resolution. Now, our never regular board meeting would be too early. Uh, so, the, and we, they could be finished by the 21st. Okay, we could push our regular meeting back to the 21st. But they might have the, the information necessary till maybe the 28th. And we can't wait that late to push back our board meeting, so we have to call a special meeting. So I just wanted to make you all aware that, that this would be our options, and, it, and it's all dependent on when the assessor's finished doing the work. Okay, so I'll make you all aware of that, be ready to make that, uh, you know, yeah. you know, make that just change. Three, day, three days in order to call a special yeah. meeting. Yeah, yeah. Right. But, but uh, we'll make, uh, the, the let you all know that uh, President Carter will make that call whenever we get the information. Okay. On, e on either one of those two. Uh, we had an audit done, and there's a questionnaire that we filled out. We, we need a, actually a motion to accept that uh, questionnaire needs submitted, so we need that put on the table. You heard yeah, the you've heard the recommendation of our uh, general manager to uh, accept the and, and forward the audit questionnaire for fiscal year 2020. I need a motion and a second. Move by rule and a second by Mac. Any Ooh. discussion? Rule, do you have discussion on this? I thought you had a discussion. No, oh, it's fine. Any other discussion? If not, we'll vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All for aye. aye. Motion carried. Okay, removal and repair of the sector gates from the gold kind of plenty. Uh, we need a motion to accept the advertisement and uh, uh, execution. In fact, give the board president the right to sign all, all documents necessary for the work to take place. Now, that is, let me make sure my mind is correct. We just we just give authority to advertise for it. Or no, no. I, I, I'd like to give the right to advertise and and, and uh, get the little bid. Accept the little bid. And accept the little bid. That's not whatever documents we need to get it done. Okay. If, if you're willing to do that. Okay. The greater recommendation of General Madison so authorized me to go ahead and advertise and accept whatever the little bid is. Your wishes, gentlemen. Move by Roland. Second by Roland. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. You know, it, it, motion carries. If we get to we'll, December, we'll get, the oysters are going to be fatter. <laughs> it just so happens that the best time to think about. <laughs> but uh, the Golden Meadow pump station flood wall, you know, that's where the old boat launch used to be. Right. Right? That, that wall, you know, we built the levee up to 17, 18 feet in that area. That wall is only at about 13. Okay. So, uh, I've talked to, there's money from the state that's going to pay for that improvement, but officially they won't have it for another month, and, and the sooner we get that thing done, I'm hoping to get that completed by next hurricane season, all right? Even though we're just saving a month, uh, we have enough money in our reserves to cover the legality. You can't advertise without having the, the, the estimated sum in, in your bank account, okay? So, 
we have enough money to do that, but we think in a month we'll have the agreements finished with the state. And what's your so, what's the engineer's estimate on that? I want to one five, I said one between one five and one seven, and we have that in our in our funding. So I would request that we go ahead and approve the advertisement of that job so that we can get scored. Okay, you heard the recommendation. Moved by Max, seconded by Keith. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 No. Motion carries. Okay, we, we have several gaps here. We've been raising the levies. The, the ramp to the boat launch at Golden Bell is about four feet low. We have to start, we've already planned to put HESCO baskets if we have a storm this year. Uh, we had some estimates in the ballpark of $100,000 to raise it to 18 feet. Now, this is not including asphalt. So we're talking about just putting limestone until we find some money somewhere or someone comes in asphalt. <coughs> but, you know, but we, we, this is just to get it to limestone. So okay. I'd, but I'd like y'all to give us permission to advertise and, and, and award for this. Uh, well, we might just have, have to take full, but just authorize us to move forward with this project. What, what is the elevation now? Or it's it probably the ballpark of 15. So we're going up about three feet. Yeah. Okay, you've heard a recommendation of our general manager to approve construction, a construction estimate of about $100,000 to raise that ramp to 18 feet. Your wish, gentlemen. Moved by Roman, second by Mac. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 No. Motion carries. And I showed you all the work taking place on either side of the base on boat launch. Aye. Well, the uh, same thing with that ramp. That ramp now is, is three to four feet lower than the, uh, the levees move elevator. So we would like to be able to move forward with that. So we ask for the ability to advertise and award. Okay, on the uh, recommendation of our general manager to approve construction estimate of about seventy-five thousand dollars for the base on rock boat launch map. Uh, your wish, moved by Roland, second by Father. <coughs> Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Now I'll show you on the slides the desalt uh, work that uh, we're building desalt up at uh, uh, 17 feet. Uh, I told you the uh, conical filter allowed us to go another 30 feet. Oh, yeah. But they said go ahead and do it, but we need to get a real final, uh, a real agreement to do that. So uh, that's I need to uh, agree with us to sign the agreement with them giving us that extra right of way for uh, the construction of the desalt levy. Can you ask me for motion to that effect? Uh, yes. Approved. Okay, gentlemen. You've heard the recommendation of the general manager. Your wishes. Moved by Keith, second by Roland. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. You guys in the telephone can make a motion. Do we? You know, you're not just listening in. Feel free, feel free to contribute. <laughs> Okay, next one. Okay, capital outlay. Uh, it was signed by the governor, and uh, we were given $4 million in cash and $1.8 in bond funds to do the paperwork to get that. And finally, you know, we're about taxpayers' money. We spend at least $6 million a year on construction, where some other entities don't come close to getting a one-to-one. -one. We're getting sometimes a zero-to-one, okay? But this will give us at least a one-to-one -one and really help us close to getting where we want to get in, in our construction since we started this in Katrina to get the higher level of the levy system. So I want to make y'all aware of that. We, the governor did promise that money. And you know, the, the virus hit and uh, all that extra money we thought we had has is, is gotten a little bit of a question. But they still came through. The governor got it in there. And, and uh, I know Reggie, uh, I, I talked to him and he was going to be going home for getting that done. And I know that some of the legislators from our area, uh, knowing he was, he was uh, uh, interested in getting that done, uh, I think that helped. And, and for the one, first time ever, we hired a lobbyist because we didn't have a representative at the time to help us ensure that our voice was there uh, when we needed to get it done. And I really believe that helped out too. So that was a strategic move that we made I think, that I think paid off. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's some fantastically good news that we can move faster than we've been moving before. You know, our philosophy is that if we get a little bit of money, we'll be a little bit better. If we get a lot of money, we'll be a lot better. But every day we're better than yesterday, and tomorrow we're going to be better than today. And uh, this allows us to get a lot better. Okay. Now, uh, this is about the construction work for the Grand Bayou uh, floodgate. 
for Gargantha. We have a, a boat, le a boat launch lease with the Nakan family. And it was a one year with a one year extension. And it's obvious now because we got delayed in getting the money. Uh, again, we, Norma Pooch and Terrebonne are paying for this. So we got letters from them saying they, they're requesting that we go ahead and lock in that extension so that we have two years because it absolutely is going to take that to do the work. So uh, need a, a motion from the board to uh, go ahead and, and, and agree to the extension. That's, that's a one document. year or a two year extension? It's a one year extension. We, we, we got the document to one year. year and the extension was for one. So instead of waiting till the end of the year for the extension, they're asking us to lock it in now because we're absolutely going to need it. Well, and they're asking And you're asking the board to approve the, uh, the extension. extension. Okay, Governor. Okay. Uh, Move by. May I say something before we get too far with this? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I don't know as a protocol on our levels. I still would have used to be years ago. But uh, up in the road at the very end, uh, that's a pretty good fishing over there. A lot of people don't know it, but some people do. They had some of my place, I don't have any problem with that stuff, throwing dip about stuff, you know. And I'm there often enough to stop that. I didn't talk with Jerry yet about that. I don't know if he's getting over on his end and not because he's getting on in the age too. Jerry did. Uh, you lost me, CG. I, uh, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. We're talking about the, uh, the ground ball in. The ground ball in, okay. Ah, uh, wait. Tie that to the middle of it. Watch it. Yeah. You, okay. Yeah, Robbie's going down to 24, yeah. going far yeah. yeah. And then the big levy yeah. turn. Yeah. And then the little levy. You like caught us up. Okay. And a lot of people, believe it or not, they walk over there. Oh, yeah. And uh, they'll ask me, and I can't give them that. So in case, why are you doing a little work over there by do friend? Because uh -huh. I, I believe you're probably going to get more calls and stuff from do friend and you know, get some over there. So you say people are going on there? Okay, I'll, 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 they I'll don't necessarily go on and levy that much, but it's, it's the, the, you know how. Yeah, it's the, the, board, the, the barricade is not that high, and a man with his kid in a bucket could get under that to go catch some hot stuff. So, you know, yeah. And, and basically our policy has been, you know, every bit of the levy is owned by a person. We, we pay fair market value to take it for flood protection, but we don't own it. The person still owns it. And we have an ordinance program that if somebody, want, if the landlord who owns that property wants to go and do something there, he's supposed to get a permit from us. Right. But in practice, what we've done is that, you know, that there are some people who get on the levy and walk and fish unless the landlord or someone complains, uh, or unless someone does some damage. We basically got a, uh, you know, no harm, no foul. But if somebody complains, we call in wildlife commission, we call it in the enforcement, we call in the parish uh, uh, sheriff's office, they've come and helped out. The other, the other thing we don't allow, we don't allow uh, vehicles on there, we don't allow motors. If people are in, a, uh, people are in a, a, a P road, and the landowners that own that part of the canal don't complain. We basically don't take too much action. But uh, you know, we, we will take action if there's a problem. But I'll talk to you some more about it, that's okay. Okay. I just want to let you know, just in case somebody come and tell you, say, Mr. CJ told me who can fish back there. You know? yeah. It's probably <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, CJ, you are still on the board until your regulation is sworn in, so. You're free to no you, you part of the board, board, whatever you know. You're still a member of this board until, until your replacement. Okay, okay, that's it. Any, so quest that's it. any questions of women? So, we, did we make a motion? Yes, we need a motion. A, we need a uh, motion. Yeah, for yeah. the extension. extension. For the extension oh, of the lease. I thought yeah. we had to. Okay, no, we had to. Your, your wishes, gentlemen. Uh, move on, please, second by uh, Roland in the discussion. All the things signify by saying aye. 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 So, uh, well, the, the advantage of, of, of us having this lease is that, that the, uh, our contractors can use the dock without having to have individual leases. Well, yeah, and what it, yeah, it, it, yeah. What it did is that we knew the contractor would have to go buy the lease. We figured this was cheaper than them having to go pay more money, and they're so charged. Yeah. 
them for the for the work. So it was allowed and there's some other contractors there also. So I don't know the the district had the lease. We could allow two or three contracts to work at one one contractor working on the floodgate, another one working on the levy itself. And so uh, that was the, the and that's Reggie's uh, suggestion and uh, he asked that we do it and, uh, and that's why it's it's twelve thousand dollars a year. Of course that's being paid by the yeah. Yeah, fair ball. That's all I have. Okay, any questions of the window? If not, this is not on the agenda, but we'll take advantage of it, seeing that CJ is here. CJ and Brian. <coughs> we have this resolution, resolution number 2020-06. Whereas Clarence C.J. March Jr. has served as commissioner of the board of the South Lacouche Levy District for the past 16 years, and whereas Clarence C.J. March Jr. having served in the capacity of vice president as chairman of the maintenance and equipment committee, has worked diligently and to the best of his ability whenever the work needed to be accomplished for the South Lacouche Levy District. Now, now therefore, it be resolved that the board of commission of the South Lacouche Levy District commence Clarence C.J. March Jr for his many years of loyal service to the Board of Commissioners of the South Lafourche Levy District, unanimously adopted this 8th day of June 2020 and signed by all members who still, Monty and Mitch are not here today, so they could sign, but we will get them signed. We have this death set for you with your name, see, oh, it's just it now, we don't have to get up. And this plaque of outstanding service to hang on your wall. So, Mr. Roth, can you turn the plaque? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to stand up for the for the for the picture. Well, yeah, I don't know if you can make it. Did you get it all in? I got it. Okay. Looking forward to working with you on this. Too. <laughs> we, need to get, we need to get two more signatures. They're not here today, so we'll get, soon we get them, we'll get it to you too. CJ, do you care to uh, address the board? Well, uh, one thing I'd like to say is uh, to the uh, to our president, vice president, officers, uh, <coughs> and other members of this board, we thank you so much for your, your uh, you know, uh, noticing the little work that me and we did. And uh, I appreciate that. I'm sure Brian does too. And I also want to tell you one thing else. Uh, I, I never was a big member of clubs and organizations and stuff except for the church members. But one thing I can say, that I have learned so much by conducting meetings and getting along with people in the community and stuff, by being on this board than I have in the almost 80 years that I've been living. And I, I appreciate President Kali. I appreciate others like Mr. Grimmio that's going on. Uh, Appreciate Mr. Dick Gidley, all of those people who were kind of batting rules to these meetings and all that. I can see uh, old man Dick Gidley now, he's about six inches taller than everybody in the room. CJ, very well. He did that when I go over and I'd have to meet about 15, 20 people. And you know, every year after that, there's one or two more that you see that he introduced you to. You know, when things are going on and that, it's good to tap somebody on the shoulder and tell them, say, that's my secretary that's pushing for this, so you'll try to hit them up. You know. So I just want to let y'all know that the, the <clears throat> it wasn't just a, 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 a position that y'all hung on me and I let it went like that. I loved it and I enjoyed it and I enjoyed whatever I learned and tried to make the best of it. Here. Project engineer. I, I am on the. Uh, um, That's a CPA. Here. 
weather is affecting them somewhat too, but they are progressing. Uh, we have pay application number two on the agenda in the amount of $48,156.98. We, uh, we uh, recommend that you pay that amount. Okay, you've read the recommendation of engineers to pay Grand Isle Shipyard. The application number two in the amount of $48,156.98. No issues. Moved by Roland, seconded by Roland. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those no? Motion carries. <clears throat> Next project is uh, D South Levy Improvements. This is where they're taking the proper material from the Conoco Phillips area. Golden Meadow and moving it onto the levee uh, near pump station number four and the crawfish farm wall. Um, they have been excavating and hauling material. The contractor is, is really falling behind schedule on this project. Uh, the weather, weather has affected him some, but uh, he's only 17% complete with 58% of the contract time elapsed. So, we met with him uh, a couple of weeks ago, Wendell and Drake and I, um, and I told him, you know, that he has to, to pick up the effort and get going. Uh, he has done that somewhat, but he's still falling behind schedule. Um, so we have sent him uh, a letter in writing. Um, we discussed that with Wendell and with Ray, and uh, we're asking him to give us a written plan on how he's going to get back on schedule. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know that you know uh, how, how well he's going to be able to do this or not. But uh, we'll, we'll let him submit us a plan, and then we'll get back to you and let you know. Uh, I guess our opinion of what that plan is. He does have a pay application number four in the amount of forty-three thousand dollars and three hundred fifteen dollars and twenty-one cents, and we do recommend you pay that amount. Okay, you're right. That's forty-five thousand on the paper. That's forty-five or forty-three. Forty-five on the paper here. Yeah. Forty-three on here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're all right. I'm here. I stand corrected. Which one is it? Forty-three or forty-five? Hold on a second. This is a pay application number four. It's forty-five. I'm sorry. It's my type. Forty-five. Okay, good. You stand corrected. Okay, gentlemen, uh, you've heard the recommendation of our uh, engineers to pay SBL Construction, LLC, pay application number four, the amount of $43,315.21. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it. I'm reading. <laughs> okay, $45,315.21. I'll get it right. Give me time. It's not a mistake if it's right in the end. There right. you go. Gentlemen, your wishes. Move by roll and second by Keith. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, aye. no. Motion carries. Okay. And the next is uh, grading and shaping on this project. It's two separate projects. SBL is also the contractor here. He's working on grading and shaping as he's hauling material. He has pay application number two in the amount of $4,950 even. Recommend that you pay that amount. Okay, good recommendation of engineers to also pay SBL construction. Uh, but pay application number two in amount of $4,950. Your wishes. Move by Max, second by Bob. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. <clears throat> Motion carries. Okay. On our section F levy, we've, we've done the field surveying, we have our plans, and we're kind of waiting to discuss with Wendell budget on this project uh, going forward, and uh, CPRA and AE has also done our field surveying, and we'll, we'll start working on the project plan soon. Uh, the go to Meadow pump station flood wall, um, as Daniel um, expressed, they're currently work. CPRA is currently in the process of signing the agreement with the levy district. We're ready to go for bids, and if you have approved, That's I guess, one going one out for bids for us, so we'll start bid advertising uh, later this week. Okay, we were informed by our, our job manager that funds are available until the CPRA funds come in from our own source. So we'll go ahead and advertise on that. Your wish, gentlemen. 
Move on that, second by Steve, that we go ahead and advertise this project. End of discussion. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carries. Anything else, sir? No, sir. Any questions for Jill? Any questions? None. Aye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, next we have the uh, GIS engineers. John? We have a few projects working for y'all at this time. One, the East Volume Water Retention Project, the East Golden Meta. Uh, we are still waiting for the Corps to issue that permit. They did ask for some additional information this past month on the uh, drainage structures that are going on the southern end and the northern end that fisheries and, I'm sorry, Marine Fisheries Service had asked far, so we sent them that the same information we had sent them five years ago. Uh, we hope to hear back from them on that pretty soon. You got their mailing address. Say that again. Say that again. You got correct mailing address on there, John. Do you have any? Yes. Okay, good. Is that five years ago? Yeah, that's an estimate. It could be three, it could be seven. Uh, what's, what's, what's absurd about all this is we mitigated, yeah. mitigated, and paid extra money to get that done in 1987. Everything has been mitigated since 1987, and we still got to wait five years for, for a permit that we have totally mitigated already. Jules going to fix that for us. And this particular question is how big the culverts need to be on the southern and, and northern ends. Um, you know, we call for two 36 inch culverts, they ask for 448. Well, they want 448, so they ask us how we got our numbers. So he said, this is how we got our numbers. Now, uh, I'm sure that it doesn't matter a lot, great deal to y'all whether it's 236 or 448s. No. So, so we said, just make up your minds and we'll do whatever needs to be done. Yeah. No, no, rocket <laughs> All right, and we are continuing to work. We've got a cross the right. pipeline, et cetera, in that area. And so we're working with them on that, as well as one landowner in the other. Uh, the D South flood wall improvements, uh, you heard Dan say he's waiting on our final design report that has been completed. It is a fairly large file, so this afternoon and tomorrow I'll figure out how to get it to Dan's, well, to Dan's group so they can review it. Uh, the Grand Bayou flood control structure, we had the notice of award, of course, to sea level construction last month. The pre-construction meeting was held here two weeks ago, well, almost two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, and the notice of proceed was issued to sea level construction at that date, July 1st. The Golden Meadow Boat Launch Ramp, we finished the final design and plans. We are getting quotes for y'all. I've uh, worked with Wendell and Neil Angela about finding a moral source for that material just above the park. So next week we should have quotes in hand that we can get to, to y'all, Wendell, so y'all can sign that paperwork too. And finally, the D North ramp, we're working on that. Uh, we've been recording with Luke, they have a fiber optic line crossing there, so we have to be careful with that. Mm -hmm. uh, the opinion of proper construction costs is a little over 500,000 at this point, but I'm working with Wendell on some close borrow areas that will drop that price down a little bit. That's it. Any questions for John? Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Angela, to show the deal. Yes, sir. On the B North and B South Levy project, they contracted a bunch of train partners with continuing with construction. I think Wendell had some slides earlier that he showed of their latest work on the, the crossing in the back of the levy district's office. Uh, today, we're recommending approval of their pay request of the 36 in the amount of $57,000. Okay, you've heard the recommendation of the engineers to uh, want to pay lots of train partners uh, in request of a 36 in amount of $57,000. No wishes, gentlemen. Moved by Keith, second by Mitch. Okay, Mitch? And this is not there, so we'll see him back in a second. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carries. All right, on the C-Dog levy improvement, this is from uh, baseball pump station to uh, Massey Farm. 
They contract the Grand Isle Shipyard is continuing with construction, and we are recommending approval of their pay request number two in the amount of $92,460.15. Can you agree the re recommendation of engineers to pay Grand Isle Shipyards? Uh, they request number two in the amount of $92,460.15. Your wish, gentlemen. Moved by Roman, second by Bob. Any discussion? All those here signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carries. All right, then we're headed to the Gulf Beach L. This is from the southwest corner of Apache Forum all the way out to Grand Bayou. Um, our plans and specifications for that project, uh, including some options on how we're going to cross Bayou of Blue and begin that flood control structure, are being revised, and we're going to be submitting that to the Levy District for review in August. Okay, thank you, Neil. Any questions, Neil? Thank you, Ty. All right, thank you. Okay, Delta Coast Consultants. Mitch, you there? I guess we have no report. <clears throat> no report. All South Consulting Firm. Engineers, uh, Stevie? Yes, sir, I'm here. So I've got a couple of projects to report to the board on today. The first one is our marsh mitigation project. Now, this project is basically complete. Uh, the contract is finished ready. Uh, he's in his clear lean period. Um, so the, the project is basically complete. And I believe Wendell has a picture of this during the slideshow, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the project frankly came out pretty good, so I think we're pretty satisfied with the product uh, that was delivered. Uh, the uh, second project I'm working on is our reach cave reshaping project. So there are a couple of components to the reach cave project at the lower end at what we call the tie-in levy. Uh, the contractor who is overlaying construction has hauled a good bit of material uh, prior to Tropical Storm Crystal Ball. So, uh, just before Crystal Ball, uh, Orland uh, roached up uh, the material they had on site. Uh, and got up to really a good solid plus 10 at the lower end of our project area for roughly 2,000 feet. Uh, and, and they're going to leave that uh, basically in place while they focus on some areas, some other areas of each day that are, uh, that are a little bit more uh, vulnerable. Uh, the other areas of each day that I just referred to are slightly north of the tie in levy, uh, in particular. Uh, going back to Hurricane Valley, we had a, a 3,000 foot uh, long area, what we call, which we call the gap, uh, that requires some immediate attention. Uh, we've asked for a way to focus on getting as much material into this gap uh, and get to where at least we have some semblance of a levy uh, in this gap in case we have another event in the next month or so. Um, they, they've got about, a, there's a 3,000 foot gap They've got about a thousand of that up to a seven and a half foot elevation with a good jetty template. Um, and they've still got another 2,000 foot uh, that we're asking to focus on. They've made a lot of good progress in there, particularly the last week, uh, because it's been so hot and dry. And they're going to continue working in there uh, for the near future to try to get that area up to the elevation we've asked them to. And that's all for us, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Any questions of us, Stevie? Thank you, Stevie. Okay, moving on to uh, my, uh, legal permits and rights of ways. Okay, I'm going to handle this uh, permit uh, for this meeting. Uh, we have a permit for the Lawrence and Way, uh, crucial, also the Revolution Court Commission is doing some work with crucial. There's a, a second, a third, a second uh, permit request uh, for crucial, and we have asked the recommendations from, from the four of these three. Uh, we have three other uh, permit requests. Now, we have not received the comments from the court yet. Uh, that's a uh, fence to make who's requiring a permit from ANCP, Louisiana. Uh, the Texas Eastern Transmission Line, which is once in this uh, core board, and uh, PESCA LLC, and uh, they're doing a little levy system on the outside of our system. So I would, I would suggest we give letters of no objection to all of them. And the ones where the three that we don't have a core number yet, that, that uh, we move forward upon the core, the core uh, comments. Okay, you say you approve one, two, and three, and roll down three until the well, end. Uh, go cool. ahead and uh, approve all of them uh, with the, uh, with with the last degree with the, with the contingent uh, on getting it. Yeah, that's right. Okay, 
Okay, you read the recommendation of our uh, general manager to approve all six projects with the, the last three to be contingent on Corps of Engineer approval. Bill Wishes, gentlemen. Moved by Keith, seconded by Mac. Any discussion? All those favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Okay, next we've got uh, Finance Committee report. No, oh, excuse me, uh, uh, okay. attorney. Excuse no report. No report. Okay. Finance Committee. Okay, Mr. President, uh, Finance Committee reviewed all the bills, only points, and recommended they be paid as presented. Okay, you've read the recommendation and the rule by motion by uh, the, uh, the uh, chairman of both the committee and seconded by Keith that we approve all and pay all bills as presented. No issue, gentlemen. Moved by Keith. Excuse me. Vote. All the bills taken by by saying aye. All those no. Motion carried. That's, that's a cue because I'm getting a little confused over here. You even had a couple of coffee around. Yeah, you're right. Now that I'm freezing over there, that's the problem. Oh, yeah. We were supposed to turn it off. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to cool it down and turn it off. <clears throat> okay, uh, maintenance and equipment, Keith. Okay, Mr. Chairman, uh, maintenance and equipment, uh, equipment committee met, and uh, we're looking at having to purchase a, a uh, small bulldozer that we were using as out of commission right now. So under state contract, uh, we're going to purchase that, and we'd like the board approval. Okay, you've heard the recommendation of the uh, committee to uh, purchase the uh, small bulldozer or medium-sized bulldozer that we are using right now at the uh, cost of 136,000, I think, yeah. on state contract. Right with the with the uh, with the trade in uh, the trade in uh, 136,215 dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen, your wishes. Moved by Keith, seconded by Mac. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Aye. Okay, I skipped over the uh, insurance committee report. Uh, you yeah. had that? Yeah, we uh, the, the insurance committee met, and uh, and uh, we are uh, happy to uh, to say that because of our safety record, our workers' comp, we saved $36,000. So, uh, I would, I would like to move that we uh, accept our insurance uh, for the year. Okay, you have heard your motion by uh, Chairman Sagan and Bob that we accept the insurance quotes as presented and go ahead and sign the forms. Uh, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carries. Okay, uh, first now, give me mic. Okay, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mary did a little research on uh, the civil service of COVID-19, uh, basically on uh, an employee that might say he has COVID or an employee that does have or about uh, six times. So what she came up with and she asked this for the personnel uh, manual is that if an employee feels he has uh, symptoms, uh, we will pay, they say, they all we will pay at six times. Phase two of the project, the middle section of the law. So yeah, we've got the first phase of the uh, sheet pile uh, for and the second is the concrete. Okay. And so it's a, it's a change in the concrete section. All right. Okay, we just need a motion to accept that. Okay, gentlemen, we've read the recommendation of our 
request of our engineering firm. Move by Max, second by Bob. Any discussion? All in favor of seeing the by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Aye. Motion carries. Okay, thank you. I need a, I need a motion, gentlemen. Move by Max, move. second by Rose. Thank you, Your Honor. All in favor of seeing the by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Thank you, thank you.